Please meet Salida. She says she's ready to beat the hex out of her marriage. Salida, what do you mean by that? Oh my God, Jerry. Uh, I believe that my uh, marriage has a hex on it. Your marriage has a hex on it? Yes. How did that, your marriage get a hex on it? Ever since I've been involved in this church where I live at, it seemed like my whole life had, my whole marriage has been, you know, crumbling to pieces. Um, because of the church? I believe it's the congregation in the church, Jerry. Um, what do they do? Do they scratch your legs? What? I was volunteering. <laughs> My husband's best friend, he started... Um, your husband's best friend, okay. Well, not, well, his friend. My his husband's friend. friend. Yeah. I started feeling uh, attracted to him. Every time that he would be around me, I would... It was like I'm outside of my body, looking at my body. You were outside of your body, but he was inside your body? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> was he? Jerry, 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 are you saying, are you saying that you messed around with your husband's friend? It wasn't me, really. I felt like that I had a hex Oh, my God. Jerry, honestly, it just... I was, it wasn't really Your me. name isn't Mary, is it? What? I said, no. Jerry, seriously, this is not no joking matter. I know. I, I'm I, I really apologize. I, that's I apologize. why I'm here. Yeah. I want to tell my husband that I've been having an affair, but it really wasn't me. It's like my body, I was having a succubus take over my body, and the succubus was the one that was kissing and feeling and making love to him. It wasn't me. Where I were mean, you? Where were you when this was? Was this voodoo? I believe so because I even looked it up on the um on the um on demand on the cable and looked up the voodoo um religion and they they do take pictures and put candles and beads and they put a, a hex on you and I really believe that I have some kind so of hex when or you were, voodoo on me. Now who so it wasn't you who had sex with your husband's friend. It no, was who? it was a succubus, I believe. It uh. wasn't me. <laughs> Funny. This is not funny. I, I'm not asking who sucked whom. I am saying. Oh my God, Jim. This is not. This, this is my life. I, I want know my it's life your life, to come but, back but, together. I need something. But why to didn't you with... just say? Why didn't you just say I'm not going to sleep with you? Because it wasn't me. I'm outside of my body looking then at why, my body. Then why, if it wasn't you, why are you feeling bad about it? Because I mean, I really need this to stop. I don't want to keep on sleeping Talk with Talk to your friend. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How can I, I talk to my friend? I, I don't even think that he would believe this. No, your imaginary friend. Your, uh, uh, you know, but who it's is, not no imaginary friend, Jerry. Someone if they slept didn't with that do guy. This, if they didn't put this hex on me, I would not be doing it. I don't go around sleeping on my husband. I love my husband. Okay. And I really want this to stop. And <laughs> that's why I'm here, Jerry, because I want some help. I need this to stop. Yeah, okay. So in fairness, you're here because you want this to stop. And I want to let Robert know that it's not me. It's okay. something that's taking over. So tell me what happened. See, you're talking, it's you talking to me now, right? Right. Okay. So if all of a sudden, if all of a sudden you're this other guy, this friend of your uh, husband, if he, he's okay. Thanks, Kenny. Um... Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Oh my God, Jim, okay. can you stop this? I know, he's fine. It's okay. Don't worry. Yeah. All right. No, no, no. Okay. Don't. He's not here. Here's oh what I'm God. saying. You're talking to me now, and this is you talking, right? Yes, this is Okay, Selena. so if all, all of a sudden, this friend of your husband called on the phone and said, hey, let's get together tonight. No, it's just, he bees at my house all the time. The guy. 
Yeah, he'd be at my house all the time because... Why is I he was, there? Because my husband has him there to um, make sure that everything is okay. Because every ever since I've been going to that church and the, the hex and everything, every house that I be at, it's all falling apart. It's like something is doing things to my house. I moved from the first house, moved to the second house, and then I got the screwed up landlord, so my husband asked him to stay there to protect me to make sure that everything is okay. While my husband is out there working, he's there. And while he's there, I find him to be appealing. And See, I'm, that's you. No, it's not me. You just said you found him to be appealing. Yeah, I may find him to be appealing at certain times, but it's not me. I'm outside of my body, and I'm looking at my body, and things just start to happen between him and I. Oh. I know it's my body. I know that it's happening, but it's really not me. I see. So I just need okay. for this to stop. You I don't want to keep on going on like this. What's this succubus? <laughs> it's some kind of being, I believe. It's not me. It's what? Some kind of being that takes over my body and has me do sexual things with him. And I don't want to keep on being like this. I wouldn't even be calling you if I didn't think that y'all could help me. Oh, you want a break first? Let's take a break. When we come back, I want to talk to your, to your husband. Talking here with a lovely Salida. Salida is a lovely woman. She believes, though, that uh, she's under a hex from her church, and you have started to have a relationship with your husband's friend. But you're saying you, you're, it's not you. It's this out-of-body experience that yeah. this other uh, person yeah. who is sleeping with me. But my house, like my um, kitchen is separated from the house and it's raining inside my house. I can see on the outside in the kitchen and when it's cold, there's ice in there. It's all kinds of things that's been happening to my house and including with my husband. And he can't say that it's not true either because he has been noticing like ghosts in there. Like one time he was taking a shower and uh, he swore that it was me or the kids that was up there watching him, and we're not watching him. I'm downstairs. He's called me. He's like, Slita, I come up the steps, and he was like, was you just right there? I'm like, no, I wasn't right there. What's wrong? He's like, I know somebody was there watching me, and then I seen the shadow walk go down the stairs. I was like, well, things has been act things has been happening strangely yeah. ever since we got. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's let's church. let's hear what your husband has to say about it. Here's Robert. Why you keep on talking about some voodoo? Ain't nothing about Bob, you already no, know. Yes, you do. There's no such thing as voodoo, Slita. That's craziness. You know what I mean? We lived in that house for maybe a few years. Yeah, that's wear and tear on the house. Of course the house is going to start falling down around you if you don't do no fixing up of the house, okay? Now, and you keep on using uh, voodoo as an excuse to go sleeping around. No, that's your own decision. That's, that's your own no, it's decision. Not, it's not my decision. And you know, ever since we've been involved in this church, all things been, all these strange things been happening. How about when you saw that ghost that was watching you? You, go, you mean to tell me that that didn't happen? Did the ghost, uh, did yeah. someone watch you in the shower? Jerry, the, there, was a, there was an incident where I was in the shower and I thought, I thought that I may have seen something standing right there while I was taking the shower. It could have been the water running down my face or whatever have you. But I, I just honestly don't believe that these people have performed some has, sort of voodoo hex on Has us. it rained in your kitchen? No, there's, there's um, the guy who owns the house, um, he never completely finished the house. So there's cracks where uh, Maybe rain comes it. down no, in the house. No, 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 no. So Ever you're saying there are cracks in the ceiling. That's why the well, water's coming there's through. There's spots where the guy never fixed, fixed the roof completely. Yeah. And you have rain 
call, coming through the house, we have to put buckets up under it. Well, that's uh, that's He's a leaky trying growth. to make it seem uh, something other than Well, there's it nothing I, wrong with me, but I think that there's something a little bit wrong with you keep on complaining, talk about some somebody put voodoo hex. Then why okay? are the things happening to us? Why am I sleeping with him? I don't find him to be desirable. I wouldn't be sitting there sleeping with him like this. And Sleepy. I tell when it does you happen, it's like I'm down sitting this here defense. watching myself, but it's not me. I don't find Look, him to be attractive. Sleeping. You can't keep using voodoo mm. as an excuse of why you sleeping with this man. You lost okay. your mind. No, that's I your am decision. not crazy. I know what's no, going on. You, you must have bumped your head. I mean, ain't no way in hell so, and somebody going to sit up there and try to use voodoo as an excuse for sleeping somebody. No. Did I tell you open mm -hmm. your legs? Now, you, 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 mm -hmm. you called us about the reverend? Oh, my God. Is it something that the Reverend could do? I really wish, Jerry, I really wish that you could get this Reverend to help me. I really want this Reverend to take this curse off of me. I don't want to be like this anymore. Okay. I want to give my whole body to okay. my husband. I don't want to give my body to... I get it. Go to heaven for that nice welcome. Thank you. God bless. <laughs> Jerry Springer, but listen backstage. This yeah. is pretty uh, remarkable. It, it all makes. She wants you to be able to remove a hex. This is a, a little fun bit. No, it's, this is, all makes yeah. perfect sense. That Satan is upon us. He's everywhere. He makes us do things. You know, stuff. Some of it we want to do. Some of it we don't. But he makes us do it. You know, I see it with my own two eyes. He made me do a couple of things once. That's right. He made me sleep More or less. with Aaron. So I'm going to make a vow to you to come down here and, you know, get sprinkle some holy water and shake a stick at him and get him the hell out. There. There, there. You see that? The problem is. You know, Are you really going to get these demons away from me? Um, break the curse? I really want this to end. I want to be with my husband and only my husband. This stuff is real. Yeah. I'm going to come and I'm going to help fix your marriage by getting rid of the voodoo and the well, hexes I, and the curses. I don't believe in the voodoo. And all that. I don't believe in the voodoo and I don't but believe she, that there's a, a hex been put on us. You I'm gonna show you, you're gonna see when I come down wife. there and it's all gone and then she's you know herself again and she's not coming out of her body or nothing. You're gonna see that I was right and she was right and everything's gonna be happy and I good. I think that she just lost her urge to be faithful. Oh. No, she's a good girl. She I ain't do never that. cheat on nobody a day in my life. And I ain't cheating on you now. Well, in the past, I, I have cheated, you know. On me? But you I, cheated no, on me? I haven't cheated on you. I've cheated in other relationships. One of the reasons that I don't go outside of our relationship at this particular time is because of our children. You know, not only the love for you, but the love of our children is what keeps it green at home for me. So what's going to happen now is, are you in agreement that the Reverend will come over to your home and, and, and try to get rid of the hex? Well, you got to agree, too, to at agree. your home, as well as hers. Hey, Jerry, I, I do whatever in order to please my wife, you know what I mean? There'll be another... Oh. I do whatever. There'll be another man in the house, and you got to behave yourself. Oh, always. I'm, I'm always... I'm my best behavior, more or less. <laughs> is but this is serious. Is, I'm going to get rid of him. you you got to get rid of him. And, yeah. and you got to get rid of the liquor before he gets there. <laughs> we'll be right back. If you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing, take care of yourself and each other.